It does sound good, it don't does. it? Mm -hmm. And we were so blessed that we came up on it. Well, because I needed one. <laughs> yep. So I got the one from the church and put that one down here. Well, they wanted to give it to the church anyway, so. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Said we can make a donation so that's what we can get. Pray the Lord. Can you hear me? Yeah. Do it again. I say we appreciate being able to come tonight and minister. You know, those that are here, you just missed a blessing. So, you know, that's the way we gotta look at it, because uh, you know. <coughs> Turn something up. <laughs> Hello. Say something. Testing one, two. All right, we got some volume now. I can hear, hear it now. I can hear it. Yeah, we can hear yeah that's better. I can hear it. That stuff, uh, you know, we're coming up on the holiday. You know, a good holiday. It's a good holiday for us as Christians, as born again believers, and the, the, the resurrection. Amen. Son, it's Amen. coming. You know, people, you know, they don't. They, you know, they're looking, like I say, they come to Walmart, and they're looking for the Easter Bunny and, the, and, the, and all that stuff there. You know, I got five bunnies, and they ain't laid an egg yet. Amen. Right. You know, I got one, her name is Cadbury. She a big old rabbit. She ain't laying no, 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 no chocolate eggs either. <laughs> no, she does not come get some. <laughs> I'm going to be rich. I'm going to be I'm gonna be one of the richest men on the planet when she right, lays that, right. lay, lay that egg. You know, but... In seriousness, like I said, about the resurrection, you yeah. know, he, 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 uh, you know, he was beaten and scorned for our, for our iniquities, you know, as Isaiah prophesied, you know, hundreds of years before that, you know, he was, he was beaten and stuff, and, and, and he took on the sins of the world, amen. and, and he amen. was put in that cold grave, and, but he rose on that yes. third day, amen. and he rose for us, amen. and that's that grace I want to talk about, amen. and it's that grace and that love that put him on that cross, amen. You know, and, and, and that grace still goes out today, and it's and, and it's offered to anyone that would Amen. just receive Him as Lord. Amen. Amen. And that's what it's about, you know. And, and uh, I was just thinking about that today, and you know, you know, uh, there's been many messages on grace, you know, and stuff. And grace is what we look, is what covers us. You know, we're covered by God's grace. Amen. You know, and it, and and the, and the the son loved the father so much, and the father loved the son so much that he gave his only begotten yes, son. In John three sixteen, that he, he gave him, that, and so and he came on his own free will, and he ch and he gave his life for us. You know, they didn't kill him; he gave it. He laid his yes, life did. down for us. Amen. And so, uh, the sermon for the night would be for the grace of God. Amen. And I'm on, the scriptures would, come, uh, would be out of. Uh, Titus, the book of Titus, is Titus 2, and uh, I was just flipping through it here, and was uh, and seeing that, and, that, and it just hit me, because that, that that's what this season's about, God's grace, and expressing that grace to others, you know what I'm saying, we're an example, and, we, and, and that's what he was trying to get, he, uh, Paul was writing to Titus to get him to, to uh, uh, realize What's, what's precious? What's, what, what's, what, what God has given us? You know, He's given us, He's given us, that's the key, is it, His grace and stuff. Because the book of uh, Titus, we'll give you a little background here. The, the epistle to Titus is also a pastoral epistle because he, uh, he was a pastor of the church of, of Crete. And, and Titus was a, a Gentile. He wasn't even a Jew, he was a Gentile. You know, and, and before that, you know, they didn't all, they, the, all the Gentiles was, was looked down on. Just like the Samaritans, they was looked down on. And they didn't, they didn't, Peter and them, they didn't think they, the Gentiles was worthy to receive that grace. That's right. And so, and it says the church at, at Crete had been in a, a state of disorder with heresies of evidence. In other words, you know, they're in and out. What's the church today? In and out. That's right. Amen. You know, they can't Amen. stay in. They won't even get, they won't stay in very long and they don't run out. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, like, there's a fire in the church, but it ain't the right type of fire. Amen. You know, it's a fire in the pants. Amen. I you know, <laughs> you know, 
And it's stuff and so Paul, he said he wrote to encourage and counsel Titus. And although it was written before the epistle to Timothy, this letter was is one of Paul's last writings that he wrote this and stuff. And so that's just a little brief history of how, about, about Titus itself, the book. And like I said, this, this uh, message is coming out of, out of Titus chapter 2. Like I said, that's right after uh, 2 Timothy and stuff. And uh, it's about righteous living. You know, we're supposed to live righteous. That grace will, 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 will make you live righteous. Because if you really, for the grace of God, because he, he, he made that, that sacrifice, which, uh, what we do is not hardly a sacrifice at all. Come Just li live righteous. Amen. That's all he asked. That's all he asked the, uh, the, the Israelites at the time they was in, in the wilderness, to live righteous. He brought them out of all, that, uh, all this bondage, but they couldn't just live righteous. They was, they was living uh, uh, in, in, in all kinds of iniquity and stuff, and he, and, and he couldn't be with them. He couldn't have a relationship with them. And that's what it's about, God having a relationship with man. Amen. And God having a relationship with us as, 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 as born-again believers. He just wants a relationship with us. And so, uh, chapter 2 says, says uh, first verse, but speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, uh, that the uh, aged men be sober, grave, tempered, sound in faith, in charity, and in patience. The aged woman, likewise, that they be in, in, in behavior as becoming holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, because they was taught the house. You know, the man went out and did the things that he needed to do to, to bring support into the house. Right. And the woman was the support in the house. She was the support for the man, and she was the support of the house. And that's what, in those days, and, and, and during the biblical days, uh, that, uh, when, when Jesus walked the earth and stuff. And so, it says... Uh, that they may teach young women to be sober. In other words, the younger ones, they taught the younger ones in the house. They didn't have the schooling. The schooling was, was taught by the, someone in, in the house and stuff. And to be discreet, chaste, chast, uh, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemy. Young men, likewise, exhorted to be sober-minded in all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works, in doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravity, and sincerity, sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. In other words, you don't want people saying bad things about you. If you live in righteousness, nobody's going to be having a bad word to say about you. They can only talk good about you. They can only think good things about you. But if you're out here, you've got all kinds of labels being tagged on you. You know, Amen. lazy, bum. You know, that's not, that's not a Christian character. You know, that's what it's about. That's what he was telling them. You know, and he was seeing this in the church. And he was telling the church, come out of that. Amen. You know, don't be like the world. Don't allow the world to uh, be having to speak in evil of, of your good works. Because if, you, if you brag of your good works, you just, you just, that's your reward. And so, uh, it said, uh, verse 10, not prolonging that showing all good uh, f f uh, fidelity that they may adorn the doctrines of God our Savior in all things. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope. He is coming. That Amen. blessed hope. All our hope is in Christ. Amen. Our hope ain't in man. Amen. Our hope ain't in the church. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Our hope ain't in the church because the church can let you down. That's right. Oh, yeah. And so, and so, it says, who gave himself for us that we might, uh, uh, he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar, a peculiar people. In other words, we're not like the world. We're not supposed to be uh, partakers of the world, we should. The world should be uh, uh, illuminated from us. The light of Christ should be in us, illuminating Amen. the world, drawing Amen. the world in. 
It says, uh, purified unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no man despise thee. Amen. And that's what I was going to just, you know, go over some few points here that I, that kind of the Holy Spirit just put in my spirit about this here. This, these scriptures, you know, it says, when grace abounds, the character of Christ and God's spirit is the light that shines from us that the world is drawn to. That's what's going to draw people to God. It's when they say, you know, that's a good old boy. You know? When somebody says, that's a good old boy, you know, you do it because that little boy's on the tag. That don't mean that, that mean it's a bad thing. That can be a good thing. Or, you know, you know. Amen. You know, you know he had some bad seed out there one time, and he's, he's going to change. That, that, there's something about him now. You know what I'm saying? Amen. You know, that's Amen. where they, they can see it. You know, Amen. when you don't get so so mad that you're going to bite their, somebody's head off, you know, when you're standing in line, and just because you somebody's taking a little bit of time, your feathers don't. Your feathers get ruffled. You know, you start looking like a, a, a upset hen. You know, yeah. We have to watch that because people don't are. We are the light of this world, and we are under the microscope. Amen. You know, and stuff. And, and uh, point two was uh, what what was given to us freely by by one man, Jesus, by giving his life for the love of the Father. Like I said before, you know. They, they crucified him, but he, he you know, when he was in the garden, he said he, he travailed it to him. To, uh, 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 his tears were like blood. You know, the weight of the world was on him. And, you know, and stuff and that. And, but yet, grace and mercy was still abounding to him, even then. Amen. You know, for your sugar, brother, brother Bud, he, he, took a, he took a strike. See, People don't realize, they think well, it was the cross where healing is in the cross. Mm -hmm. Healing was before the cross. Mm -hmm. Healing was when they took him out there and scorned him. Mm -hmm. They took him and they beat him. They beat him with that cat and nine tails and drew the blood out of him. He said it was so unrecognizable. They, they, they couldn't even tell uh, who he was. Mm -hmm. You know, CNN has been doing a little thing about, about Jesus, finding Jesus. You see this here thing? They got the, the it's something, the facts. Uh, 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 and uh, our, our, our forgery. They going through all the different things. They went about about the bed, cl uh, the bed clothing, the, the shroud, the tower. Is it where the clothes wrappings where they wrapped him up after he died? And you know, made an imprint. They tried to, you know, over the over the centuries, try to prove it wrong, uh, not to be true and stuff. You know, they always uh, trying to find things to, to prove that you know he was just a man. And he wasn't just a man. He was man. He was a God in the flesh. Amen. He came, he said, dwell among us. But he was not. He, 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 he laid his life down for us. You know, and uh, point three said, that for the grace of God, we, we want to take up his cross and die daily to sin and be followers of righteousness. That's what it's all about, righteousness. Amen. Even, even during the uh, uh, older days, you know, he, what he tell, he tell, he tell, uh, uh, what, uh, Abraham, if you could just find one, you know, out of ten, oh, you know, that's righteous. Amen. You know, <laughs> if you go, right. and he said, he, he, he said, if you guys, I won't kill him, I won't kill him if you, I won't kill none of them if you can find just one, one, one out of the bunch that's, that's righteous. You know, oh. if you can walk in there with a lot of churches, that if, I, if you, you can't find a church full of hypocrites, you ain't in church. You must be in a bar somewhere. Because <laughs> you go find a, you go find a church full of hypocrites. Come on now, self righteous people. Amen. God was totally against self self righteous people. He 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 he, he uh, more uh, uh, one occasion. God kept getting on the Pharisees because they kept bust, uh, boasting about their their self righteousness. Yeah. Look at the way we fast. Look at the way we do things. <laughs> Look at the way we pray. Come on now. You know. And some of the disciples had them confused. Lord, should we pray like them? <laughs> should we fast like they do? That's right. You know, devil bringing in confusion into the church. Right. You know, so you have to, it, it's all the way around, you know. It, it all starts <coughs> with, where, with us and our spirit and how we handle the things of God. It's like the things in the temple, the way they handle the things in the temple. It's, sac it's sacraments. That, that God has given us, His Spirit, that He's left here. He says, it was His Spirit, and I go away, that one would come. 
They were baptized in fire, not just water, but in fire. And so Paul said, grace follows that after truth and light and righteousness in Christ Jesus, not of our fleshly nature. Because our fleshly nature, we have bad days. Yes. Come on. God knows we have bad days. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The world can cause you to have a bad day. Me and him went to the chicken, uh, uh, the uh, feed store down here. I went out there, cranked up my truck the other uh, other week. Boom! Wouldn't do nothing. I thought it was a battery because I've been playing. Had a little battery deal where I was having to run and jiggle the battery cable a little bit, and boy, it finally cranked. You know, he's been doing that for four or five months. I just, you know, there's symptoms there. You know, but I didn't know that started with the starter went bad on it. But we sat there, we messed with it, we messed with it, it was raining, it was terrible, we was good. Me and them sat there for about five hours down here in, in Swansea trying to get that truck. truck. The guy in the, in the feed store, he come out there, you know, he he, he became part of the problem. You know, he turned my tools over. <laughs> you know, I ain't never seen one like this. I like, see that you haven't seen one like this. <laughs> I mean, you just start up with I changed the battery post and, and all this stuff, but you know, because we didn't have the right formula. The right formula is Christ. You know, <laughs> you know, he was a, that was a, it was a, a test of patience and will, but we got it done. You know what I'm saying? Amen. We we uh, and, and, uh, they got it fixed and stuff. And like I say, um, uh, point five says His grace will make us fruitful to the to the bringing of souls into the kingdom or the. The, the true fold of Christ through the blood of, of Jesus. And that's what that, this, you know, resurrection, even the, the, uh, the uh, uh, Jews at the time, they couldn't understand the resurrection. Mm -hmm. you know, nobody been arrived and risen from, uh, risen from the dead. You know, they were dead, they were dead. I told that before. <laughs> you was dead, you was dead. You know, and when they, when they crucified somebody, they was, they was crucified. <laughs> you know, they, they usually hung them. They either hung them or burn them. Yeah. And see, that's how a lot outside the gates of Jerusalem, there was all kinds of uh, uh, places where they, just what they did, they had that, that was the uh, punishment of that day. You know, they, they crucified you. And so that was why, why it was shameful to be crucified. Because you was lowered. It was like you were lowered down in statue. When, you, when they took you out there to crucify you. And it says that's what it says. It, 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 it's a, 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 a shameful for a person to hang on a trick and stuff. and stuff. But that was just what I wanted to talk to about tonight. And I can touch on this about grace, you know, because his grace, you know, we can't, you know, uh, buy his grace. You know what I'm saying? His grace was, was, was laid down for us and gave it, gave it to us. You know, and, and covers us, and we have to walk in that grace. Amen. You know, uh, you know. Some people say, "Well, it, you can't just." It ain't all just about grace. Well, it started with grace, and it started with mercy. You know, you, back in the, in the temple worship and stuff, they went. They had the priest had to be just right before he could uh, approach that mercy seat of Christ, because or the mercy seat of God and, and, and stuff. And because if he didn't, he was instantly killed. Mm -hmm. You know, and so, you know, it's the same way, but now we have an advocate with the Father. We can, we can, enter right in there, we can just look up and call on him and he's there. Amen. He said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. That's right. You know, we're not Amen. abandoned. Just when that, a lot of people think, you guys, as soon as they get saved, they're abandoned or something like that. They get thrown off the ship, I heard. You know, they finally they found, they found that guy that fell off that ship. You know, uh, stuff, uh, you know, because uh, he, uh, you know, but that's what it's about for the grace of God. You know, and that's what that, that, that this message he was giving to them. He was telling them, you know, straighten up. God is still, God is still on the throne. Trust him. You know, Amen. walk in the ways of righteousness and God will be the provider that he wants to and, and have that relationship with you if you allow him. And stuff. And so, because, but, I was looking through some little jokes and stuff. I got a little one here and stuff. And, uh, it said, a third grade teacher at a school uh, of Mrs. Uh, uh, Mendo Mendoka was trying to make use of her psychology major that she got in college. You know, here she, but she's here in this little, she's a third grade teacher. 
you know, talking to her little third graders, and she said she started uh, her class by saying, "Everyone who thinks they're stupid, stand up." <laughs> After a few seconds, little Johnny jumped up. <laughs> the teacher said, what's your name, son? I'm Johnny, ma'am, he replied. Well, do you think you're stupid, Johnny? No, ma'am, he replied. But I, I hate to see you standing up there all by yourself looking stupid. <laughs> Stuff. And that's what God, if God put the question to us today, you know, how is, it, how is it with us? Amen. That's right. What would be our answer? You know what I'm saying? Amen. If he had, if we had that one moment with him, and he said, and he just asked, he said, "How is it?" You know, what would our answer be? It should be say, "Your grace is sufficient, Lord, for all things." Amen. You know, yeah. That's what we have to do. You know, it's that's right. if that get in you. It's just something yeah. about that. It, 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 it's, it's, it's there. You know, you know it because it says, you know, because uh, you know them by the fruit that they bear. Amen. You know, and, and God's going to fix your sugar. <coughs> You're going to get a great Amen. report tomorrow. Amen. And stuff. And, you know, and, uh, for all the other needs of the church as well, God's going to meet the needs of God. This church is going to be big. God, God's going to do some great things here. Amen. And stuff. And, you know, and uh, like me and Brother John was talking about the other day and stuff, you know, some things that's coming around, you know. We have to hold on. Amen. You know, we just can't think, well, it ain't happened yet. You know, there's a lot of good things that ain't happened yet. <laughs> you know, gas, gas ain't went down to a dollar yet. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> you know, it ain't gone down to a dollar yet, but you know, it could be. at least it ain't four dollars a gallon. Amen. It was up to what, four gallon, four dollars a gallon two years ago. There's two on nine in North. Yeah. And so, you know, there's good things coming, you know, to those that wait upon the Lord. And all blessings flow from heaven above. Amen. But I, we appreciate y'all allowing us to come and do this and stuff. Appreciate y'all coming and stuff. Yes. But God bless everyone. And uh we thank you, Heavenly Father, for, like you said, we know that your grace is sufficient for all things. And it bounds to us, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, as we meditate on it each and every day, Lord God. Bless this church, Lord God. Bless each one here, Lord God. Bless us as we go out into our homes, Lord God, and into the highways and the byways. Compelling others, Lord, drawing them unto you, Lord God. And we just give you the glory and the honor and praise this night for all things. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 amen.